Okay, um, so I've been asking how I get my brushes for Photoshop. So I'm just going to do a short wee thing um, on how to obviously download them and uh, install them. Now, probably this is for Mac, but I'm not sure if you can do it on PC. I suppose it's kind of the same method. So um, basically, if you want to uh, get brushes, something similar like to. Um, These kind of things, and um, we're not quite sure where to get them or how to download them. Uh, if you're wondering how to make them, I'll show you in a short video later. But for now, this is just um, downloading and installing. If you want this kind of thing, then I'll show you what to do. Okay, so we're going to want to go to a website so you can download um, some brushes. Now, you can either just search your brushes. Um, and I just check if DeviantArt comes up, but I use DeviantArt.com, which is a, a really great website, which is kind of like um, sharing art between people. So we just head on over to DeviantArt. Okay, and you want to go to the side here and go to resources. Now there's obviously tons of other stuff you can look at if you want, but what you want to go to is application resources. And then into Photoshop brushes. Now you can also get Illustrator brushes, Paint Shop Pro brushes, um, GIMP brushes if you want. Uh, but if you're wanting Photoshop brushes, you want to go here. Photoshop brushes, obviously. And it will come up with a pile of brushes. Um, now there's all sorts of brushes. Uh, there's absolute tons. There's like vector ones, there's Christmas ones, smudge brushes. I'm just going to download this new set, which um, looks quite interesting. So we just click on it and uh, come up with a preview. But over here on the left, where it says download, now make sure you just want to check any comments they've made because they might want you to um, ask permission before you use it to to make a video. This one's okay because um, it really doesn't say anything about that. So just click download and uh, wait for it to load. It's acting quite slow today, so I'll just go ahead. Okay. Meanwhile, while it's downloading, open up your Macintosh HD or you can go to Start My Computer. There you go, it's downloading right now. And uh, you can now close that once it's downloading. And you want to go to your applications, Adobe Photoshop CS3, and instead of so you can just open it. I'll just close these two. Okay, and don't click on the program itself. But look inside the folder, and there's other methods of doing it, but this is my way. So I'm just going to do the, my way. Now, under presets, you'll find the folder called brushes, which is kind of obvious. Uh, and it'll have your normal brushes. And then I'll give you your other brushes. Now I'll show you what I like to do is uh, just click your downloads or wherever it's saved the file and drag it and it'll ask you to um, authenticate it because it won't like change it. So if you go and uh, type in your password and it should uh, copy in the file. Now if you go into Photoshop and you go to your brushes and it will usually appear at the bottom they won't be there yet so what you're going to want to do is go into your brush up here and click the wee arrow and go all the way down to load brushes and uh, find the brushes you chose, these are my ones KG grunge brushes double click it and they should load now, I'll just show you the kind of thing you get. So then obviously, as usual, you can just scroll down, choose the brush you want, and uh, paint your heart's content. And you can usually get some high quality things and brushes on the internet. So it's 
quite an inspector. So you can get any kind of brushes, as I say. You can get like um, Christmas ones. You can get vector ones. So um, any questions you have, just hit me up with the message, and uh, I'll hopefully resolve any of them. Um, so just look out for the next video, which I'll probably make, which is how to make brushes. Okay. Uh, bye.